I thought it'd be fun to do a little mini series here on some Christmas art. I thought I'd bring you along and show you exactly how I painted this. It's super easy and I only use two tools. If you have any questions as to how I do it or what I'm using, leave your question in the comments below. I reply to every single one. What's up y'all? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I love to offer any type of tips or tricks that I know that could help inspire you to be more creative. Okay, so you can see that I've already painted the background of my canvas here. And then next, I just start sketching the shape that I want my wreath to be. I'm not being neat or precise at all. I'm just kind of blocking in an idea of where I want all my greenery to go, um, knowing that I'm gonna go back over it with paint. Now's the really fun part. So with several different shades of green, I take my medium size, palette knife which is just like a traditional palette knife this one has two edges on it so it's perfect for blocking in leaves using a, the smaller point or the wider one either way and again I'm not being detailed here I'm just blocking in with a green paint Now you can see where I'm starting to add more detail to the leaves here. I'm adding a brighter green on top of the darker one just to give it some highlights. Just adding dimension and really just some fun interest for the painting. Um, we're using lots of green here so I like to add a lot of dimension by doing highlights and shadows on these leaves. And just keep filling in the areas that look a little sparse or you know need some more greenery um, you can add detail and fill in the spaces as you go Okay, now you can see my palette knife looks a little different. I've switched to the smaller pointed tip palette knife, which helps really do finer detail work. And I'm starting to add in little stems and just sprigs of greenery. This smaller, finer tip palette knife is perfect for adding that type of detail. using the same small palette knife we get to add the red berries in and you just want to use the very tip of the knife using bigger berries and smaller berries throughout the wreath. Okay, now I have brought in the pink to add some highlights to the red berries and then just even painting more berries in just the pink color just for some more interest. And 
finally, you just kind of want to take a look and see where you need to add some more stems, some more small greenery, some more berries, some more highlights, some more shadows, and just start filling that in. Don't forget as you go that when we're doing this style of painting, we are applying paint wet on wet here. So it is not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be somewhat messy, but that's really the kind of look you're going for. Now, I had already started painting the background when I realized my camera wasn't working right, so luckily I caught it halfway, and you can see now I've switched back to my larger palette knife, and I'm using that corner edge to really just kind of butt up against the greenery um, of the wreath to fill in with a lighter color. And I'm not doing it completely all over and leaving some areas to, for the darker gray to show through. Okay, so I decided I wanted this to be a little bit of a lighter gray, so I went and found like a shade or two lighter, and I just started doing the same thing, leaving even more of the underneath layer showing through, and to me, this just adds more interest, more dimension, more texture, and it just makes it more fun. So I brought out the smaller palette knife again so that I could really get in there um, up in between all the leaves with that fine tip. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click subscribe because I'll be bringing you another Christmas painting this style very soon. Until then, don't be afraid to be creative. So here's the... Okay. Click subscribe because soon... Okay, y'all, that was so much fun. Don't you just love Christmas?